Everybody knows Ares is the world authority in separation technologies, but did you know Ares also provides a full range of customizable feeder controls? This video will demonstrate the flexible and innovative features of our G-Series control. Please note that this is part one of our G-Series control videos. For information on wiring and basic operation, be sure to check out part two, our setup video. The G-Series control is available in a variety of enclosures to suit your processing environment needs. The stock unit is a NEMA 12 dust tight enclosure. The NEMA 12 design includes its own internal heatsink, which allows the control to be installed as is with no additional installation requirements. There is also a NEMA 12 enclosure for use in the Canadian market and includes ESA evaluation and tagging. Both the stock and Canadian versions of the NEMA 12 control are fused to accept up to 12 amps at full voltage. For process environments requiring a washdown compatible enclosure, the G-Series control is also available in a NEMA 4X stainless steel enclosure. This enclosure is watertight and corrosion resistant. The NEMA 4X option is fused to handle up to 15 amps at full voltage. For those who prefer to supply the enclosure required for the processing environment, the G-Series control is also available in a chassis mount design. This design can be installed in any appropriately sized enclosure or master control enclosure. The chassis mount design is fused to handle up to 15 amps at full voltage. The G-Series control is dual rated for either 115 or 230 volt operation. The control module is capable of auto sensing the line voltage without on-site programming. However, ERIES technicians will nameplate the control for your particular voltage requirement. This versatile control can be programmed for a variety of frequency settings. ERIES offers several vibratory feeder options that operate at 30, 40, 50, and 60 hertz and this control can be programmed for use with any of these frequencies. The frequency is easily adjustable through a simple programming procedure. Typically, the control output frequency is set at the factory to match the input frequency of the vibratory feeder before shipment. For more information on frequency adjustment, please see the G-Series control setup video. All models of this control are equipped with the soft start adjustability feature also known as ramp up, ramp down time. This feature is noted in the G-Series control instruction manual on pages four and five. Standard factory settings of two seconds up and two seconds down are provided. However, these settings can be adjusted to suit your process requirements. Setting the control for ramp up and ramp down time eliminates the feeder overstroking on startup and shutdown preventing premature wear of the vibratory feeder components. For applications where rapid on-off cycling is required, the settings on this feature can be minimized for quicker cycle time. For example, a high-speed packaging operation would utilize the minimal settings. Refer to the G-Series Control setup video for more detailed setup instructions on ramp up, ramp down time. Another feature available on all models of this control is the remote on-off user enable. The image shown here is a section of the electrical schematic drawing that highlights the user enable function. Activating this function enables remote on-off and automated operation of the control. For example, a signal from a PLC or other switching device like a master scale control and does not require an operator to physically adjust the control amplitude settings. Available signals for use with a PLC are 4 to 20 milliamp and 0 to 10 VDC. This feature can be programmed for you at the factory. All you need to confirm is your required signal. If your process requirements change, this feature can be programmed into the control on site. Refer to the G Series control setup video for more detailed setup instructions on remote on off user enable. An additional upgrade in conjunction with the remote on-off user enable feature is an accelerometer mounted with a bracket on the vibratory feeder. The accelerometer measures tray amplitude, also known as displacement. 
This feature is known as tray regulation. The accelerometer constantly reads tray amplitude and communicates back to the control so that the control supplies the appropriate signal range for the tray to maintain consistent amplitude. Maintaining the amplitude consistency is beneficial to the feeder as it prevents premature component wear. This feature will also monitor upset conditions such as excessive load in the tray on startup and material buildup in the tray. We hope you gained some valuable information about our G-Series controls. Be sure to watch the G-Series control setup video for detailed setup instructions. If you'd like to learn more about Erie's vibratory equipment, visit our website at www.eries.com or give us a call at 800-345-4946. Thanks for watching.